Hello everyone. I'm very pleased to help the OECD launch its in-depth examination of how all of us humans can get the greatest benefits from artificial intelligence and machines that learn. We are facing unprecedented technological leaps. Advances in AI and computer science can take us to the next level of development of our civilization. The speed and scope of these advances have renewed fears that machines will replace humans. Trust me, I'm familiar with these fears. Two decades ago, I famously lost a chess match to a computer, becoming the first knowledge worker in history to have my job threatened by a machine. And I admit, I did not take it so well. I confessed, I was a solo loser. I wasn't used to losing, and it took me a while to realize that this loss for me was also a big win for humans. Our machines are human creations, no matter how intelligent they are. So, rather than pessimism or wild fears of terminators and matrix and dystopia, I see the case for optimism in what intelligent machines can do for us and how we can improve our lives by working together. But optimism does not mean being blind to the challenges of a technology that promises to change our world like steam power or electricity or the internet. We need to understand how intelligent machines can help turn our grandest dreams into reality. As our technology moves ahead, it brings us with it higher, faster, and now smarter. To do this, we must stay ambitious and to dream big. And dreaming is still something that only humans can do. But as we have always done in history, we must adapt this technology to our lives and adapt our lives to this technology. What does not change, what should not change, it's our guiding values. New tech doesn't mean new human rights or new principles. Automation can also leave people behind, so we must maintain a balanced dialogue of public and private interests. The creation of the new expert working group on AI by the OECD is an important step in understanding the ways in which machines changing our lives and redefining what it means to be human. The OECD is positioned perfectly to bring together experts from its 35 member countries and other nations for a vigorous debate on how to get the maximum benefits from machines. As I made it, made it clear in my book, Deep Thinking, I'm convinced that intelligent machines will help build a better future if we guide their development to favor the consumer, the citizen, and freedom. That is, humans, human well-being, and human values. I'm equally optimistic that the OECD and its partners will help us overcome our fears and find smarter ways for humans and machines to work together. I wish you all the best. It is your move now.